Hey, hi everyone. Welcome back to learnautomation.com. This is Mukesh Otwani. So there's another video series uh, for APM that is nothing but a separate automation tool for mobile. So now world is uh, changing. Now everyone is shifting to the mobile devices. So in the same way, the company is also moving from browser automation to a mobile automation as well. So you must be ready with the uh, new generation. Okay. And uh, just ready with some mobile automation tool as well, which will help you for a long run. So now I have found that APM setup is a little bit tricky. So you need a couple of softwares to work with APM. So I have listed down all the software which is required here. So I will try to cover each and every software one by one. Here I will not show you how to download and how to install. I will show you what are the software which you need so that you must be ready with all the tools. Okay, so the uh, installation part is little bit tricky, but uh, don't worry. I have listed down each and everything here. So to start with APM, you need almost around 13 tools. So I have listed down and uh, while working with APM, have patience because installation and downloading may take time. Uh, I will suggest you just take out a full day for APM because for me it took almost six hours because we need to download so many things and each downloading will take time and after downloading installation also will take time. Okay, so take one full day for this APM and download the necessary softwares. So soon I will be showing you how to work with the real devices. So I will break down the series in uh, first we will work on emulators then we will go with the real devices. So mainly I will focus on the Android devices first and once we are done with the Android devices, I will switch to the iOS devices. Then I will show you how to work with the iOS uh, emulators and devices as well. So I think we should get, uh, we think, I think we should start now. So first of all, you need Java and uh, if you have ever worked on Selenium, then you must be having Java in your machine. But if you are starting with APM and if you don't have anything, don't worry. Once you move forward, I will show you how you can download uh, all the things and how you can set the path as well. After Java, you need Eclipse. Uh, so Eclipse will be the IDE, which we will use for writing our code and Eclipse we are using for Selenium as well, right? So still we will use Selenium, but we need some more jar files to work with APM. So the next component which you need is Selenium jars, obviously. And uh, if you have worked with Selenium, then it will be very easy for you because we need to do a small setup for APM and the remaining code will be same. Then you need Java client. So what exactly this Java client is, so uh, everyone having nowadays a mobile, right? So if you have noticed, uh, there's some advanced activity our mobile have like tap functionality, swipe, double tap, long press right so all these advanced activity they have created a separate library for us that i will say it's java client so we need to download the java client and we need to add this into our eclipse environment so all the advanced activity will come in this jar file and trust me mobile automation is not of it's really very easy you need to call the method based on the requirement then you need apm server okay so apm is a separate uh, tool that will help you to automate your mobile application. So uh, it is just a server that will redirect your request to the mobile devices. So as of now, just stick to the this word APM server. Once you move forward, we will uh, have a separate discussion on the APM server. Then you need Node.js. Okay. So uh, Node.js comes along with APM, but I will suggest you download this Node.js separately so that you can code some JavaScript as well from your end. Because this Node.js I have installed separately and I have seen I am not facing any issue while working with mobile devices. Previously, I was not uh, having Node.js and I was facing a couple of issues with APM. So what I did, I installed Node.js separately and it works uh, like uh, anything. So install Node.js separately. Uh, then you need Android SDK. So you need a separate Android SDK bundle so that you can interact with the Android libraries. Right? So whenever you start working on Android emulators or real devices, you need this SDK. Without this SDK, you will not be able to uh, do any 
and ride automation you need one separate microsoft.net client okay that will be hardly around 45 455 kb so it will hardly take 30 seconds to download this this is the uh, backend support which apm wants so uh, generally it comes by default with your windows 8 but if it is not uh, in, install in your machine then don't worry install it separately so that you will not face any issue yeah this is the one optional tool which you can use which generally I use so if you use emulators or you can say simulators so genie motion is a separate tool which will allow you to create multiple simulators with different uh, configurations Let's say I need to, uh, I want to create one Android virtual device with Android 5.0. So it works quite faster. If you use the Android SDK simulators, it's very slow. It may take some time more than 15 minutes to start your virtual device. So Genie Motion is the paid version and uh, free version as well. I always use free version. So if you want to use free version, go ahead, download it and use it. It will give you flexibility to use any kind of virtual device. Okay, so you can start uh, a simulator of from ranging 3.0 to 5.0 and I think they right uh, right now they have added 6.0 as well so you can create a virtual device with the latest version of Android then you need an APK file now the question comes what is APK file so generally what we do uh, whenever we have to install any new application we go to Play Store we download it and we use it right so if you want to automate any application, you can download their APK file and you can install this APK file in your virtual machine or in the real devices and you can start using it. Okay, you don't have to go to Play Store and you can use, you have to use it. You will get APK file for each and every application on the internet and you can start using it. So uh, this is the APK file which you need if you are working with the native application. But if you're working with the mobile web aut uh, automation, then you can start using the Chrome browser which comes by default nowadays with Android and the last one that's quite obvious if you're working with real device you need Android device and uh, through which we can connect and we can start using it and I missed one uh, component here that is PDA.net okay so that PDA.net will help you to connect your mobile device uh, through USB by default uh, uh, you will be able to connect your device with USB but PDA.net will help you if some drivers are missing it will automatically download so PDA.net is another uh, software that you have to install in your machine as well and in your Android device too so as you can see we have so many dependencies here almost uh, 11 uh, things you want to start working with APM okay so don't worry we will cover it separately and I can tell you like Java will take hardly 30 minutes, Eclipse will take 30 minutes, Selenium Java 2 minutes, Java client 1 minute, APM server will take, depends on your network connection, 20 minutes, Node.js 20 minutes, Android SDK it may take 3 hours. So once you download Android SDK it will hardly take uh, 30 minutes but once you install it and it will start downloading the required dependency it may take hours. Right. Microsoft.net will take hardly one minute, GenieMotion 30 minute and APK5 one minute. So total installation and downloading part may take full day. So just be ready with all this required software. If it is not downloaded, just don't worry. In the next slides, I will show you how you can download and set up in your machine. Uh, so this is what I have for today. So if you have any doubt, just drop us an email. I will help you out. Uh, thank you so much. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.